Good morning, my brothers and sisters. What's up? This is Anya. Uh, with a heavy heart, I'm waking up this morning because I've done a lot of prayers this weekend. And I got to tell you something, my brother, my sister. Tell me, you know, you know that many of us went through difficulties, difficulties in our lives, didn't we? Where we, with our whole minds, body, soul, spirits, we desire that Father help us, that Father help us, in fact, so much so that we don't want to believe that we live in the last, the last days of before the rapture, the last days before the, tribu the, the, before the horrific tribulation that's coming upon the world. Yet we know that the tribulation is upon us. Every single thing, everybody's talking about the, about the thing that they offer for free, the jabs. Everybody's paying so much attention to the jabs that they're missing the whole point that wherever the enemy's always guiding you to look, remember, he is doing something already that seems innocent. And that thing is also it that will give you the mark so in this case of course i'm referring what goes before people go to see if they're positive or negative what do they go and do they take a very specific test don't they have you ever paid attention to any of those tests have you ever paid any attention to how they are administered i'm not talking about getting a little bit of saliva or a little bit of um Mucus out of your nose, which doesn't make sense in the first place. Mucus out of your nose is all, it's expelled dirt that comes out of your nose. It, it just, everything that they do is backwards. And people, because I love you so much. But the truth and honestly is just the same way as father is warning and saying, I am at the door and I hear this. And people are not opening up to him. They continue on worshiping and praising Father, continue on still receiving messages from spirits of e Antichrist, spirits of divination, talking about, talking about, you know, a, a major unifications and, 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 and instead of talking about Exodus, he has the body of Christ, the bride. The bride is the only one that's protected during the tribulation. That is the, 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 church, the angel of the church of Philadelphia and the ones of the church of Philadelphia. That's what Jesus said. And that's what is coming. Everybody else must be an overcomer. That's what Yeshua Jesus said. Why are you ignoring my beautiful brothers and sisters on purpose? The word of the Lord. I want to live in a rapture also. But if I know right now that I'm, let's say I'm one of those people that I know that I'm already. Do you know that majority of the people fell away and they don't even know? The great apostasy has already taken place and it's taking place continuously. Glory be to Jesus. How merciful he is that he call, keeps on calling every single one of us to come spend time with me at my feet. Come spend time with me at my feet. Praise me. Worship me. I want to show you how you need to follow my commands because you need to learn right now, my brother, my sister, how to hear the Holy Spirit. And if you're not going to know how to hear the Holy Spirit, how on earth do you expect to survive? Everybody, when I say I'm giving you warnings that the tribulation, my judgments are falling upon the world, you say that a great revival is coming. On the contrary, you say Trump is coming back to power when he's not coming back to power. Obviously, here we are six months later, and he's still not in power. People still continue on selling you the same nonsense. I'm, of course, addressing only those people who are still, still believing in this nonsense. Judgments are coming against Joe Biden, the president. Yes, 
I so told you, I saw his son homeless, concealing his identity. He will be concealing who he is. I believe that yes, very, very well, Biden will die. I presented you with two scenarios many months ago that I know were presented to me by the by the influence of the Holy Spirit. That a father, a father's decision will be this. This is what's going to happen. They will take him out on charges of mental instability. Because he has severe dementia. And do you know why he has the curse of dementia? Because of, this, uh, because of the evil he has caused to get where he is today. The lies that he has done his whole life. When he had a chance and opportunity to return to Yahweh. Return to God of Israel. Repur, repent and return to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get away from that Catholic church. Whore of Babylon. He had many endless opportunities as he held on to the name of the, the Lord, meaning God Almighty. Because in their cases, whenever they use the name of God, even though they believe on a different God, they of course were boasting falsely in God of Israel. So they would get the support of the average citizen within our country who actually believes on Jesus Christ of Nazareth and Father, our Creator. Creator of the universe, creator of the one and only physical realm, which is the earthly realm. Yes, judgments are coming not against, not only against him, but basically any other wicked, evil person. Why? Because I told you, my brother and my sister, the first seal is about to be broken or worse, just broken. I haven't had even the time to test the spirits on all of these information more precisely, but I know it, I, I would say it's already been broken. I say it was, was already unsealed. However, why? Because all these different events are taking place. Earthquakes have increased tremendously. Floods have increased tremendously. I expect something mighty. Whole past two weeks, I've been feeling like there's something that moved in onto our heavenlies. But that thing is right above Satan. So it's most definitely from our Lord. That thing is invisible to NASA. It's invisible to SpaceX. That thing is invisible to all space agencies. And that thing is the judgment of our Lord. That thing is the gigantic rock that will fall. That will fall into the Atlantic and will cause horrific, horrific tsunamis all over the world. But also, could it be that we, we are assuming we're going to see those things many years from now, two years from now, three years from now. But brothers and sisters, I told you, for the Church of Philadelphia, the angel of the Church of Philadelphia, for any overcomer, no matter what church you are from, if you dealt with issues of stubbornness, even a month ago, then you are from the church, you are the cumin, you are the barley, you are from, most likely with it was bitterness is involved. Bitterness is church of Smyrna. And to be raptured, you must be cut or be raptured. You know what? We shouldn't even discuss this anything as a rapture. We should discuss everything from the perspective, brothers and sisters, of second coming of Jesus Christ. Don't you agree? Don't you agree that the enemy has been exploiting the topic of rapture? Some people only look up to the rapture. They look at so much so to the departing from this world, from this, from the, uh, the, they, they stopped living. They stopped doing the right thing. They stopped investing into, into purchasing oil. Till this day, I say what oil is, what God said, not me. Definition, precise definition of what oil is, which is mentioned in the first song of Solomon, third verse. I quote, it says, for thy name is fragrant oil poured forth, unquote. But people say, no, 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 it's the Holy Spirit. No, it's not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the lamp that needs that oil. Wicked know the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And they're not going to be raptured. They're not going to be protected. So just knowing the name of Jesus, if you're not an infant, if you're not a toddler, that's not enough. You must be all about Father's business. Yes, the good works will not, no amount of good deeds, good works will save you because they're seen as dirty, filthy rags in our Father's eyes. 
without the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, without the precious covenant of the blood of Jesus, my beloved brothers and sisters, we are nothing. Any goodness inside of us is from the Lord. And you think evil inside of us is Satan, is the enemy. So is everybody's paying attention to what they're drawing your attention to? Why won't you look at the back hand, what the other hand of the devil is doing? What is it really doing? Where are all the false, all those prophets are talking about judgments and talking, they're talking about revival. They're talking about Trump coming back to power. Yet none of them is telling you that we, what's happening with this abomination? When all father is talking to me about is the abomination. And the whore of Babylon. And who the Babylon is. And what they've done. All Father is talking to me about is how none of, uh, barely anyone on earth wants to follow the true one and only Jesus of Nazareth. From the Bible. From the scriptures. And he keeps saying daughter. It's because just like I said. It is just like in the days of Noah. When I only I saved eight people. Out of the whole earth, my brother, my sister, what I'm telling you is this. Whether you want to think of this as a rapture, as a second coming, bottom line is this. If only eight people were saved out of millions and millions of people then, then out of billions of people, if, if, if 80,000 will or 8,000 will be saved. Let's say 80,000. That's a huge number, and that number is already too large. Because we know that very that the bride, we know that there's only 144,000 very special followers of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth on earth right now. We know that there were only out of seven angels that, that are in, in charge of the seven churches on earth, only one angel is obedient. Because even the angel that's here on earth rather be all about they're not about all father's business his holy divine will yet jesus says only those who follow and fulfill my heavenly holy father's holy divine will shall inherit the kingdom of heaven they all continue on believing on prosperity they continue on following people who tell you that you are about to be rewarded with great riches with cars with houses with new jobs new careers nonsense Father is taking us underground, sort of speak, off the air, offline. Do you understand what that means? That means you're not going to be walking, driving around in a flashy car. That means you're not going to be the fashionista of the year within your company. That means you're not going to be working a regular, normal job because you will need that jab. And you cannot take it. You cannot even do the test. Why? Because that's what the problem is. Where we don't look. That's first and foremost is where we need to look. When someone, all the false prophets of Baal, I don't care, how, all of them say they love Jesus. Every single one of them says they love Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And some love him because they really do love him. And they're just misguided. They fall in for the tricks of the devil. They've been beguiled by the devils and the spirits of divination. They rather, and others... And others know that they're wicked and evil. They know that they're witches. They use basic of the basics, witchcraft, divination, as Father has showed me. What Father has been addressing with me is judgments against such people also, as He will put them out of power. He will, the punishment is being foolish, is becoming a fool of fools. Their folly, they will fall by their own folly and worse, depending on how they will continue on blaspheming the name of the Lord, the name above all names, and Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. How they will be, God forbid, if they'll slander the Holy Spirit, then this is it. That is the unpardonable sin. Already, when from the book of Proverbs, when you read it, what Father has shown me, He guarantees that those, He will kill those people. And yet some people come and say, no, you're wrong. Jesus is only about love. Jesus only loves and loves. That's true. If you're obedient, yes, he will only, only give you love and love and more love. Yes. As it was written in Jeremiah 39 verse 15. Yes. Expect only love, love and more love. But if you're disobedient and you've been corrected, 
two, three times and you still refuse to test the spirits. Father says, test the spirit. This is why I gave you an official test. This is my official command. I gave official direct commands through my son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And his name is the name above all names, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You can say with the name of the town he was from or not. But Lord Jesus Christ is his name. That's the name that our Heavenly Holy Father Abba Father gave him. He was Yeshua HaMashiach. And he became Lord Jesus Christ. I told you Lord Jesus Christ when pronounced holds the power of the Trinity. Together but separate. Which is the Father is the Lord. Jesus represents the only begotten Son. Of course Jesus. Of Nazareth and Christ represents the Holy Spirit. Use it. Wake up in the morning with a thankful and grateful heart because we thank you, Heavenly Father, for teaching us every single thing that you teach us. And anyone who but once hears any of these warnings on my channel, Father, let them be blessed. May their wisdom embrace them. If they have possessed the fear of the Lord truly and completely, may the Holy Spirit of wisdom through, through the blood of Jesus, may you be embraced, my brothers, my sisters, by the Spirit, by Father, God's Spirit of wisdom. May you be increased. May your Holy Spirit guide be on an increase. May Holy Spirit, may Spirit of discernment be on an increase and guide you. May you be vigilant. May you soar high on wings like an eagle in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And maybe you you be safe and protected. May you be all about our Heavenly Holy Father's business. And that means to fulfill His holy divine will, to fulfill His commandments, to celebrate the ten, to celebrate the seventh day of the week as Shabbat, a day off of all work. Unless you are about his business. Unless you're helping something or someone. Which is the so-called, I hate to pronounce this uh, name, but it is the seventh day off of the week is the heathen so-called Saturday. Jews pronounce the days of the week as first day of the week is, is so-called Sunday. Second day of the week is today, Monday. May third 2021 and i love you my brothers and sisters and i invite you to my channel i invite you to my longer teachings please take them seriously because you will not survive just loving loving jesus christ of nazareth if you're not a toddler and you love jesus christ of nazareth that's enough they will they will be raptured first before anyone else is removed from the earth remember that the dead in christ number one must rise first then the children must be risen must be taken away from the earth all godly children will be removed and then the bride none of those this, things have happened yet don't expect a gigantic revival in a sense how americans think of revival by revival i always meant that the people who are belong to the lord that they will get closer even to the lord that you do you will if you if you even and if you one of those people that said you thought you were close to the lord but you still watch tv you still spend uh, hours upon hours every day on social media you know networking with people talking about nonsense you will stop doing that get away from that that satan is stealing your time of praise and worship to our Lord. Be wise. Be wise. That five minutes, that one hour, it could have used for memorization of a, of many chapters or, or not chapters, verses from the scripture that can save your life. You could have memorized Psalm 23. You could have memorized two or three new verses and you could have just sit and ponder on, on whether it's one verse or all of the, all of the three. Study Hebrew language as our father is Yahweh, God of Israel. He created one and only perfect alphanumerically so-called, so to speak, language. When you have, when he gave, this is why strong score accordance, when you read the scriptures, have a Bible in King James Version, and you can have a newer version, but always go back to read what it says in King James Version. If you can, get that version in Hebrew, and then or go and see and look up that word always first and foremost in Hebrew language. The reason why I say that is because Yahweh is Adonai of Israel. He created Hebrew language while Greek language was created by human beings. 
And at that time, of course, they were worshiping idols, fallen angels. I'm talking about Greek language. And, that's the, and that is God's honest truth. One of the first things Father told me, commended me, was stay away from Greek language. I'm not saying I will never, ever use it, but I will use it almost not at all. Because this isn't perfect and this isn't mine. And sure, the Holy Spirit is without limit, does not communicate with you. Just 215 in Strong's Concordance in Hebrew or Greek. That doesn't work that way either. The Holy Spirit is inside of your heart. That's what Jesus says. He gave us this spirit without limit and it's inside of your, your heart. You must purge your heart. Your heart must fully and completely belong to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. To you, therefore, it will belong to Yahweh. So the Holy Spirit can, can dwell inside of your heart and take over your mind, body, soul, spirit. Do you understand? That so the Holy Spirit can be in charge of your body. God's temple is your body. Temple of the Lord, temple of God's temple is your human flesh. That's the temple that Jesus says, cleanse your temples. Almost nobody pays attention to that verse. Father has been emphasizing for six, seven, if not eight months. Tell them to cleanse their temples. Nobody wants to cleanse their temples. They all think their job is done. Yet they ask me to deliver them from evil, but they want to do no work. You still have the same, the reason why you still suffer from stubbornness and why you still have scales on your eyes. And you hear someone like me speaking the truth is because you have demonic attachments onto you and they hate Jesus and they hate the Holy Spirit of truth. And when they know that they hear someone who speaks the truth, they know how powerful it is. They know that you're about to be taken away from them, from the Satan who he keeps a pulse on you. Because they know how powerful the true living word of the Lord is. And they know how powerful is Holy Spirit guidance and anyone who is Holy Spirit filled. And the spirit of the sermon that comes through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh is so powerful, is so mighty. It's without comparison. It will always lead you to the truth. I hear so many false prophets speaking out their prophecies. They don't come true year for year, year for year, months for months, days for days, weeks for weeks. And people are still worshiping them. People still go listening to them, wasting their precious time. That means you love your eyes and ears to be tickled. You love your ears to be tickled. You love the lies. And the, you love the, whether you know it or not. I'm telling you then, my brother, my sister, your heart is still wicked. Because you love the father of lies. You love listening to lies. And you continue on wasting your time. And that's not your job. That wasn't your order. That wasn't your marching order. That wasn't a command ordained by Yahweh, God Almighty, to go rebuke that person. And before you rebuke them, you have to do some research. That wasn't your mission. Then you are, and you're just listening for the sake of listening or for networking or socializing or buying merchandise or whatever, selling merchandise. You maybe prophesy for money. Remember, remember this, every single person that had, that believes and loves Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now, you're considered lukewarm. And Father said, he will spew you out of his mouth. You will be treated and judged worse, more harshly than any witch, any warlock. You remember what it says in the first book of Samuel, chapter 15, verse 23. What stubbornness is to, what sin of stubbornness is to our father. That that sin is as a sin of witchcraft. Do you understand? Stubbornness is as the sin of witchcraft. If you're still exhibiting any kind of stubbornness, as a virtue, I shouldn't even call that word a virtue because that's a very negative trait into human flesh. And all of us suffered from that at one point or another, whether to a very small degree or very large degree. If someone has father has keep sending out people to to guide you to the truth and you refuse the truth, you are stubborn. You are the so-called, I repeat, in, a, in accordance to the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, end of chapter 28. Go and read for yourself and see what our heavenly holy father, through his son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, what, what he tells us, how he will harvest such a person. 
If you are stubborn, if you are stubborn, you're barley. You will be harvested with a stick. If you're cumin, cumin is harvested with a rod. That means you will be beaten into submission. Both will be beaten into submission. Yes, you will be most likely saved. Or you will be beaten to submission and you're going to begin to hate the Lord so much so that this will take you straight to hell. Just like all your those false prophecies that you believe and listen to right now and support and you give those people money. Read Proverbs 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, even 20. When our Heavenly Holy Father tells us specifically what He will do with anyone who supports he, enemies of God, enemies of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, enemies of the blood of Jesus, enemies of the blood of Jesus, not because of what they say. If they tell you they're the prophets and none of their things come true, don't waste your time watching them. Do not give them money. Stop supporting evil. Stop supporting spreading evil. You're doing Satan's bidding. Stop paying witches and warlocks to prophesy nonsense. None of their prophecies will ever come true. Do you understand? Never. And Father will make sure of that. Never. They carry all types of curses and their curses by you supporting and knowing that you're supporting a false prophet in accordance to the book of Proverbs. You will go under those curses yourself. Their foolishness will become your foolishness. Every minute of time of the day and night. I'm not fear mongering. I'm not fear spreading. Father told me, I commanded you to collect oil, to gather oil into your lamps, meaning into your Holy Spirit. So you can, just like I am through my son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the light in a darkness, a strong tower. You will become that light in a darkness. Wise virgins, the bride. And all believers, followers of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wise, so-called wise virgins, they have oil, while the stubborn, silly virgins are stubborn virgins. They're the cumin. They are the barley. They refuse to follow Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth from the scriptures. They follow a different Christ. And anybody... Any teaching that is different from what Jesus Christ of Nazareth was teaching, as you know, my brother, my sister, straight up, I love you. And I am obligated to tell you the truth. I cannot allow you. On, I would never, never lie to you because I know my father very well. And I know my beloved, your beloved, and he loves you. This is, he is speaking to you right now sternly, addressing you with love. Please come to me. Please stop wasting your time. Please let me fill that empty hole, emptiness in your heart with me, my love for you. Stop, stop networking online. Stop making videos. Stop dreaming the dreams, asking me for dreams and, and, and visions. Well, I'm not the one giving them to you. You're not, you are the clay. The clay will never outgrow the potter. Lord, was, when I was Jesus, was I receiving visions after visions? Was I receiving dreams after dreams? No. Are you Moses? Are you the Archangel Michael? No. Then why are you thinking you have outgrown the Lord? The clay will never outgrow the potter. The potter is Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And our heavenly holy father Yahweh, his actual spoken voice is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are the clay, you are, we human beings are creation, fallen angels are creation, Satan is a creation. Be on guard, be vigilant. Let this be a huge, huge final warning. Open the door for Jesus Christ is at the door and he's knocking. Spend time with him. Even when you're tired, for instance, get on your knees and pray. And you fall asleep, still pray. Play some sort of music to keep you awake. And repent, repent, repent. The daily repentance will show that you are meek and humble. And you will show that you are ready to repent. And you will show the Lord that you are taking repentance seriously. And therefore the Lord. The Lord will reward you. My brother, my sister, you will be rewarded. 
you will receive oil from the only one who can give you oil and that is Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and having intimate relationship with Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth through that particular name the name above all names there is no other oil just knowing the name of Yahweh is not going to save you just knowing the name of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth is not going to save you prepare for the worst we will be here for some of the tribulation only the angel of the church of Philadelphia and all the members of the church of Philadelphia and I believe any overcoming from any of the churches will be fully well oh, I, I, read the revelation again for each church underline it and see what it says there ask father to give you the wisdom to understand whom he will protect 100% do not get scared if you are from another church church of Laodicea for example it's Catholic Church majority of people on earth are the Catholic Church don't be afraid it's okay because you can be here still here just like like the, you know many of us will be here but you'll be 100 support protected but that does not mean that you will you must be you will be a witness to evil some of you must be become witnesses to evil do you understand evil angels boasting evil angels doing wicked evil things do you understand what i'm saying for example, one, if you are 144,000 or you think you are one of them, what, what happens? You must, of course, you know, you are made a witness. You are made a witness. You are made a witness, my brother, my sister. You, became, you must become witnesses to the crimes committed by fallen angels. Yes or no? Of course, yes. You know... Brother Wally of Revelation of Jesus Christ just made a very powerful six hour video. I would, if I was, if I was you, I would go and watch it. There's only one or two things that I don't agree there what he says, but everything, he, it's minor, it's nothing that I don't agree with him on, but please go watch it. Father, he was ordained by the Father to go do this video. Those two things that I don't agree on is something that I will continue on praying about and testing the spirits on. It comes from the fact that he just, I was given a completely different translation of these particular, uh, you know, um, passages, scriptures. But that does not mean that everything else is wrong. Like I said, like I said, you will see what I'm talking about. You will see and understand that the Lord has sending out major, major now warnings to get all of you back to him as close as he can hold on to you, my brother, my sister. I'm washing my hands. You understand? Please, please take this warning seriously. Troubling days are, are already here. We're not waiting for the mark. The mark is here. Everything has been rolled out. I told you they did it earlier. We truly need, need to pray for miracles that would stop the distribution of certain things. You know what I mean? Including the tests. Because, 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 go and watch my videos in which I show you what the enemy is truly attacking. The enemy is eradicating the meta gene inside of your frontal lobe in your brain. Go watch my videos from six months ago. I guess right now, right about me right now. No, no, it wasn't six months ago. It's three part video and, and I use something that Mike 44 founded. Mike 444 often misunderstands scriptures and he's a great guy by he repost a lot of false people's dreams and he doesn't test the spirits on them he you know he's innocent but he has to step up his game in testing the spirits also being nice is foolish at this point we must be loving and kind be nice be respectful i shouldn't have said that that's not what i want to say be nice be respectful love only love would get us where we need to be but you must be vigilant and you must be wise and you must do everything to get away from the beast system to get away from the babylonian system that means from how you make your living right now you must get away if you have a job you need to look for a low ranking job where before they get to you you'll be the last person that they'll think about do you understand seek work where you maybe can travel and just have a ministry for a while 
in a camper or something. I'm thinking already what to do. I've been already away from the Babylonian system, but I receive one little, some of us, we, we receive help because we're so poor. Maybe you, you have insurance through, your, through the state. Even that, you know, we have to consider now leaving and getting off. Do you understand what I'm saying? The time has come where we have to keep asking the Father. He's making, if you will cooperate with Him, He'll show you what He wants to do with you. And He'll show you loud and clear. This isn't the time to go fleshy. This is the time to go under and, and really, really blend in. Really, really blend in. You will be rewarded spiritually. Spiritual rewards, spiritual abilities. Pray for that to be on an increase. Protection to be on an increase as portals. Father allows demonic portals to be opened every day. Well, maybe not as often as every day, but trust me, Satan opens them every day and Father shuts them down every day or certain ones he lets go. Remember, these people who have taken the thing you will not recognize them a year, a year from now, I believe. Because in many cases, you will be seeing people suddenly, literally passing from the eradication of their immune systems. And there will be many, and in other cases, it will be the entities that are all around us that cause us pain, that influence our, and that anything we do evil in us is from the wicked one. They will have control over those particular that type of particular technology, do you understand? If they, they have control over our internet, over our Wi-Fi, over every single uh, plasma screen that they live off of because entities, unclean spirits live off of, can attach to plasma. Plasma is also in our bloodstream. Anything you put in your blood, whether knowingly or unknowingly, if it's remember, has a patent number. Who is the owner of that patent number? That is your new owner. Do you understand? If it's something that changes DNA and it's in your blood, you just made a covenant with that person, whether you know it or not, you cannot take it. You cannot do it. They will use deception as they have always used deception to kill God's children. Just look at what the church has done in the past. I'm talking about very church of uh, Ladosia. Based upon what I said, what type of church that is. Pay attention to what I'm saying as I'm going to have to start soon speaking in code. I've been, I got away with a lot of things already. I've received a lot of strikes and it is up to you soon, sooner or later when I'm going to be taking out you was off the channel of this platform. You will have to go whatever you've learned here. You seek it out then on your own for the Holy Spirit guidance. You, this will help you. Trust me when I tell you this will help you spread the word. If you know someone who's stubborn, who's suffers from stubbornness maybe you yourself just simply don't get depressed about it repent of it and ask father to please father i beg you help me change change the way i think change me into help me stop doing the things that i'm doing help me start stop lying help me stop exaggerating or you will be here for tribulation you will have to die because you are not the bride you're not the obedient bride the bride has been getting herself ready her outfit gown must be must be spotless uh, esther was preparing for one year one year this is the time right now you must be you know, go through all these different oils do you even know what it means as the bride of christ if you think you're the bride of christ what you have to do with your body how you have to sanctify your body you must be an overcomer of your heart and your flesh completely fully or to the best of your abilities, you must be at least in a process and show the Lord that you truly are doing everything you can to the best of your situation, abilities. You cannot, I'm talking, you must be pushed to the limits to show Father that you really have tried and tried and you're working on it. And if you're still, if you're suffering from some injuries and you got to be on certain medication, because medic, remember, medications ultimately is the pharmacia. And by, by pharmacia, the nations were deceived. The whole point is that all of us taking any kind of medications, we must get off of them. We must stop taking them. We, we must follow after Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and trusting in him fully and completely. But I know many of you out there, you rely upon your medications or otherwise you, that's what keeps you alive. You would not be able to provide for yourself if you wouldn't take certain type of medication. I also know that Father knows that. 
However, prepare that you will be even coming off of that and you will have to rely upon the holy divine will of Father to keep you alive. And He will. He will. You have to trust that. I trust in that. There's one type of medication that I'm taking and the rest is, you know, just vitamins um, because I'm older and, and, you know, because of the attacks, uh, the, the bone, the cartilage has been severely deteriorated. I have, for example, permanent alopecia from being dropped down the steps. Uh, being, uh, I mean, all kinds of wicked things were done to me for a number of years. Those are permanent spinal injuries. Those are permanent injuries. I'm not taking any pain medication, but, you know, at the same time, at the same time, I understand the pain and why, for example, people who are 60 years old, 50 years old, if you do take it, but remember, but remember, if you're taking any of the narcotics, that's an addiction. And the whole point, you must trust the Lord that he'll help you and you need to get off of that too. Okay, so this day I, I pray that we all work on our bodies, that we sanctify our bodies for our Lord, because we must be an overcoming of our hearts, minds, bodies, soul, spirits, and of course, then so we can work and sanctify our flesh, because spiritually we are perfect. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. I love you. Gotta get ready uh, for my day. Um, kisses. Bye bye. Jesus loves you.